Heads up everybody, my name is Sentinel Grey and welcome to the channel. I'm just going to be reading the notes for the hotfix 3.3.0.2. There's a decent amount in here and I've actually fixed a couple of things which is nice. Dead eyes back, so let's get into it. For armor, fix an issue where precious scars was not correctly restoring player shields on matching weapon kills. Fix an issue where Promethean Spurs would not consistently spawn combination rifts on kills while rift energy is full. Fix an issue where Dawn Chorus no longer extended burn damage. The issues regarding Worm God Caress and Radiant Dance Machines have been resolved and these armor pieces have been re-enabled in all activities. For weapons, increase the effect of both the impact and detonation of explosive light on rocket launchers to now increase damage by 25%. Fix an issue where Danger Zone was not functioning correctly on rocket launchers. Increase the cooldown of Shoot to Loot to 4 seconds. This is a temporary measure to prevent shooting a brick that can't be picked up to trigger the auto, auto reload. Fix an issue where ammo picked up by players could be quickly shot with Shoot to Loot to get additional ammo. Fix an issue where an interaction between Hawk Moon and Hand Cannon Holster allowed for repeated paracausal shots. Fix an issue with Augur Scepter where a player's super wouldn't drain while in uh, empowered mode. Titles and Seals. Fix an issue where Gilding Triumph could be completed before the base title seal was claimed. Fix the issue where the Wyvern Precision Kill objective wasn't progressing as intended. These were both, uh, these both dealt with, um, Deadeye. So, Deadeye's fixed, you can go get your try or go get your title now. For strikes, for general fixes, fix an issue where strike streaks were not rewarding after completing a strike if the player joined a strike in progress or if the player was pulled forward. Players should no longer be able to apply chill touch to themselves or allies in strikes. Players should once again not be able to reset their reputation if they have not picked up all of the rank reward items. A quality of life improvement for rank resetting is coming later in Season 15. For Broodhold, players can no longer be stuck after encountering in Ana for the first time. So you can now drop down after that. Hollowed Layer. The fanatic can no longer become stuck in the corner, and the spider tank can no longer be killed early. Master and Legend Lost Sectors, Burns, Shields, and Champions listed on the tooltip for Luna Lost Sectors should once again reflect what players find in-game. Platforms and Systems, fix an issue where selecting the Beyond Light Deluxe Edition upgrade from the timeline took players to the full Deluxe Edition page instead of the upgrade page on the Steam Store. Fix an issue where Windows 7 users were unable to launch the game due to some incompatible .ll files. .dll files. Localization, fix an issue with Japanese translations of a few lore entries fixed an issue where several languages did not have a description for the seasonal artifact. General, fixed an issue where Zunyu offer, where the Zunyu offer was not rewarding the correct items. Fixed an issue where the Warlock's Nova Bomb wouldn't blink if hold, if hold sprint was active. Or Nova Warp, not Nova Bomb, my apologies. Fixed an issue where the barriers surrounding the Scorch Cannons and the Fallen Walker public event repelled anything that came near them. Increased the score target for Iron Banner control from 125 to 150, matching base control now. And adjusted the Iron Banner Mercy thresholds to reduce the number of games that end shortly before they reach the score target. That is, uh, that's gonna be it for the hotfix notes. Hope you guys liked it. If you do, make sure to leave a like on the page or on the video and subscribe if you want to see more. I plan on doing more of these as they come out. I'll see you all next time. Remember, keep your heads up and be kind to each other. Bye now.